Since NCD Grassroots Network Foundation handed over a letter to the governor's office last Wednesday, Foundation patron Michael Kandiyu said they are awaiting a favorable response from the governor's office. In the letter given, the foundation has proposed for NCDC to make proper betelnut markets and provide rubbish bins at the designated locations. It also called for tougher penalties for irresponsible consumers, 1,000 kina fines or six months imprisonment. More awareness must be given to educate people on responsible chewing of betel nut. A separate letter has been given to Governor Pakop to defer the deadline imposed by a further two months. The foundation has given Governor Pakop seven days to respond, and failure to give a favorable response, they will take it to the courts. NCD Governor Poes Pakop, who recently visited Ipiana village in Mekeo, said NCDC is working closely with central and Gulf provincial governments to address immediate and long-term issues. He said the ban will go ahead, but penalties will not be implemented as yet. They will publish the law and give the public 14 days to scrutinize the proposed city ban of betelnut. At the intended betelnut trading markets, Ruby Rogo, Sabusa and Laloki, Governor Pakop said they will build proper facilities and allow people from Mekeo or Central Province to provide security while awaiting the completion of La River Market at Hohola in the nation's capital. Former member for Kairukuhiri, Paru Ahi, who was invited by the people of Ipiana to hear their plea, called on the governor to open the Boroko Market next Tuesday for sellers from Mekeo and Central. He also suggested to regulate the betel nut industry by issuing wholesale and retail vending permits. Another suggestion, he says, is to set up a hotline to report vehicles in which passengers bid betel nut outside or litter and disregister the vehicle if possible. Bridget Komatep, National MTV News.